Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm having a dinner party and I seem to run out of coffee. You can be anything you want to be there. You can see anything you want to see there. There's excitement in the air for you and me there. Fancy free there. Take your family there, but you've got to be there. It's nearly six o'clock. Pack up and piss off. Hello, good evening. Hello. Uh, everything's changed. We've had a mad sort of five minutes trying to get it all working. Yes. Fingers crossed it's working. It just looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, can you hear us? Papa, can you hear us? <laughs> Let us know. Uh, get clicking that like button. Only three of you have clicked it. Only three? <laughs> Um, can you hear us? We're waiting to waiting for you to let us know if you can hear us, if you can see us. Everything has changed. Um, loud and clear, you can hear us. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, we've had a mad five minutes because um, the software we use to stream to you guys has updated and everything seems to have changed. Oh, I hate updates. And um, we had to re-sign into everything and then... Or we've got like two step verification on everything oh, set up. It's happening all the which time. Which is dead annoying. I send you a text and then you'll get the text number and you'll put these digits in. Oh. You've got to run around the block for a couple of times, then pop Sheila a cup of tea in and then it'll let you. Oh, we're here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look who's here. So I'm, I'm using new thing to try and see your names. Kim Peterson uh, is here. Uh, then jo- Tracy's here. Will Venus is in. Mad Abba fan says, hello, darlings. Coral Daft is in. Uh, Andrew Wright is here. Beavis Bonce is there. Beavis Bonce is tipsy and in the bath. I don't blame you, love. Uh, Sandra Brown. Marge is here. Uh, Gareth Jones is in. Linda LeHughes is in. My lovely cousin. Uh, Claire Beatty, I think I said your name. Joel Hazeldean is in. Um, yeah, Marge says it's the first time she's been here for ages. Oh, it's been a while, love. Yeah, we, we did one well, last week, you. but we, uh, we were off for about a month. Uh, who else have we got here? Nibbles and Bubbles are in. I think it might just be Bubbles. Uh, but welcome, my lovely. Dawn Lovejoy. Uh, Scylla Black is here. Of course. The legendary Scylla Black OBE. Uh, our, our little phantom who joins us. Um, Dawn Lovejoy. Looking forward to the meetup. Does that mean you're coming, oh, Dawn? Dawn coming along. On the 30th of October. Uh, Mark the Vicar is here. Uh, who else is in? Let's run down. Andrew Chapman uh, is asking if Scylla's got a purse. And Seven Network says, as she ever. Um, Pip is in. Pip is in Crete this week. Oh, Crete. And is we were, tuning in. We went to Crete once, didn't we? We did go to Crete. We looked at photos of ourselves at Crete today, was it didn't we? Starless we went to. I think it was. We went somewhere quite chavvy. Quite ropey. <laughs> in October, wasn't it? It was. Um, Paul McFarlane is in, getting the drinks in. Where's the Or capicals? wants the drinks in. No capicals. He's no capicals. writing in normal text. Um, First Age Comics, Lucy in Lancaster is here. Oh, thank you for your lovely message, um, First Age Comics. You sent me a lovely message about my aquamarina. Yes, yeah. Thank you, love. Um, who else have we got in? NP is here. Uh, my dad is here. Dale Ibbotson is in. Ali McGuinness is in. <laughs> Uh, is somebody with you? Is somebody, somebody, somebody. Um, BG Bear is here, Mad Abba fan. Um, Mad Abba fan says Lancaster is their home city. Um, Eat Me Cafe boys are at RuPaul's Drag Race in Manchester. So they're sending their love. Ooh. Turn that phone off. You'll get, you'll get, oh no, you keep phones on now, don't you? Shantae, you stay. <laughs> um, who else have we got in? 
Karen Avey is there. Karen from Canada. Um, Pauline Grant. Dan Gleacock is in. Dan Gleacock. Uh, Darren Bramley is in. Darren Bramley has been running around um, after Liz Truss. Oh, has With he? his camera on his shoulder. Ooh. Yeah, he's been uh, in Birmingham filming the... Uh, conference. Building the conference for the news. Um, who else have we got in? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's now people saying they can hear us. Karen Avey has spotted that I've got a new coiffer. I've had my hair cut. Today, yeah. Um, Samantha Hallsworth is in. Somebody, 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 somebody. somebody. Uh, <laughs> oh. Marge is cooking a ruby. Uh, somebody is here, says, says Sam Hallsworth. Uh, Caroline is in. Caroline Ibbotson as well. Uh, Nibbles and Bubbles says that Scylla is the phantom of the wig and slingback. Um, BG Bear says, bet the wigs at RuPaul's aren't as good as ours. Oh, bless you. Oh, I don't know. Um, so welcome to everyone in the YouTube room. Uh, which looks entirely different. Yeah, it's to all me white, right isn't now. it? It's not, me, yeah. it's not me black. So I've got to as, sort it all out. As black as coal. Let's have a look over in uh, Alan's bar. So that's over in Facebook. Uh, I think Kate Riding was the first that popped through tonight. Hello, Kate Riding. Followed by Spencer Carter. Uh, Neil Sandwell, hello from uh, himself and Lady V. And Henry. Lord Henry. Henry. Lord Henry. We're blessed with Prince Henry. Uh, George Beatty says hello, everyone. Mishmash is in the house. Mishmash from Kingston upon a hull. From a hull garden village. Uh, Carrie Dolly Moore says cooey. Tom Clues says hi guys. Nicola Utting, hello lovelies. Uh, she's, we've been here as well, love. Uh, Martin Garden Spence. And we've got Stuart Bauk Bouquet. Is that new? Are you new, Stuart? Calling in to say hello, campers. Followed by Gabrielle Chausse. Lovely Jason Rigby. Uh, Melanie Fairley. Martin Garton Spencer's got the flu. Oh, no. Got love. man flu. Oh, no. He said it's a Spanish one. Oh, dear. Uh, Mark Mondayman Pearson. Hello, my dears. Uh, he's been busy with his little um, new sort of caravan project. Don't tap that. Uh, we've got Caroline. Hello, Caroline. love. Caroline, did you book for bingo? Oh, we've not. We sold out. We sold out. Okay, TC. Uh, Nigel TC says hello, Alan, Jamie, and I'm all sure the other Nigel fans. Sure, Nigel Neil is with Nigel. And our, uh, Robert Brown pop- popping in from Glasgow. Glasgow. Uh, Paul Esselmont. Lisa Cornell says hi. This is everyone saying they can hear us. Nikki Baxter. Nikki Baxter. Hello, love. How are you? How was you with Luna and little Elsie? And what's the gerbil called? Uh, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel the gerbil. Uh, Lisa, I just said Lisa Cornell. Uh, if not, hello again. Lisa Cornell's sound is quite sketchy, but Lisa Cornell is zooming in from, from Toronto. Toronto. So maybe it's just the Tinterweb wires. Uh, got Chris Gilbert. Uh, hello uh, from Chris and Wes in East London. Yeah, it's good to be back, boys. It's good to be back. Um, Mark Manns. Mark Manns says, hello, darlings. Uh, Andrew Orme. Uh, Suzanne Landry. Robert Brown, Becky Webb, oh, Vince like... Neil. Vince Neil sounds like sort of like a uh, singer from the sixties. Like someone who'd be in Greece, maybe um, headlining at the yeah. uh, at the prom. We love all your names, everybody. We love your names. You're such lovely names. Did you say to McCindy? Oh, hello there, McCindy, my love. <laughs> Who used to direct um, Supernatural? Macduff, Macduffy, wasn't it? Mac, Mac, I can't remember. Macbeth. I imagine McCindy's like uh, now a Hollywood director. And Alan Davis. Oh, it's him with, with, with that lovely Palomar hat on, isn't it? And glasses. Oh, simmering. He's we, simmering. We saw, we saw you last week. Mike Randy Gibbons likes your orange jumper. Thank you very glad. Uh, Cole, Cole Taylor. Taylor. Uh, Nick Roberts wearing. Bonsoir, he says. Marcia. Hello, my love. A lovely Mark Hall from Wales. He says, I'm here. Oh, the, how was Bassey? Yeah, so, Mark and Alex were at Bassey last night. I saw Bassey sing part of the um, James Bond um, show. And Paloma Faith and Lulu. What All a, our what favorites. a wonderful bunch. <laughs> uh, Fanny Mac- McLeod. Um, I've said it to Ella, to Robert Brown. I've said it to Lisa Cornell. I, I, think we're, I think we're done. I think we've got everyone. Well, welcome, everybody. It's been a wonderful week. Welcome, everybody. 
Let's have a look if I've missed anyone over here. Any, any sort of late arrivals there? Uh, don't think so. Uh, no, but Paul McFarlane's hit caps lock. Good. And it's now sorted. If you don't do cabicles, I'm, we're not sure it's you. Well, here she is, is in. She says, oh, Christ, you two are back. Oh, yes, love. You can't keep us away. <laughs> she said, you've not only kept your gorgeous figures, but you've added so much to them. Oh, <laughs> she's a carder. <laughs> Nibbles and Bubbles is um, communicating with Paul and D'Angela in capitals. Oh, it's like shouting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's like shouting. Can anybody hear me? I had to shout today for an audition, didn't I? Oh, yeah. About chocolate, wasn't it? Yeah. But we can't talk about it because it'll be all confidential. Uh, Mark Hall says Dame Shirl was amazing. But as she was first on... Oh, she wasn't first on, was she? Oh, Shirley. Man, she was just... I want to, I want to get off, sweetheart. Oh, so... I don't want to hang around all day. I need to get on the underground carriage. Yeah. Um, she knows what I'm talking about. How are your travels, Jamie, Ali McGuinness? And Sam wants to know, will we be doing the bingo regularly? Uh, Sarah Simpson, I'm sorry, love, we did miss you. You were at the top of the... You were at the top of... Some of you must have disappeared. Uh, this is all... Sarah, it's all changed and gone bonkers for us. So we're looking at a completely different screen than we normally look at. But we see you now, my love. We see you now and hello. Samantha Hallsworth, will you be doing the bingo regularly? Yes, we will. I think so. Well, I mean, the good, <laughs> we hope so. the good news is it's sold out. Um, for those who don't know, we're doing a live show in the end of October um, at the Eat Me Cafe at the Simon, Simon Joseph. Stephen Joseph, Joseph Theatre. Stephen Joseph Theatre in Scarborough. We sold out in four days. Yeah. So um, we, were, is... we, were, we were worried it wasn't going to sell out. We're like, oh, God. Yeah, we were well chuffed. Um, so hopefully the theatre are chuffed as well, and we'll be thinking, right, we well, should we'll do get this, this again. again. But it's, I guess it all depends how it goes. Yeah. It depends how it goes for the venue, not only the theatre, but the bar that we're going to be performing in. Mm. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, we, we, we might not, we not go down very well. We might go down like a, a bag of shite. You know? but yeah, we hope it's going to go really well, and then we'll be doing it regularly. And yeah, my travels were amazing, Ali. Um, knackering, but brilliant. I was all over the place. And I go away again tomorrow, no, next week. Next week to Oman. I go to Oman next week, and then I'm away again in November for three weeks. So I'm all over the place, really, aren't I? I'm knackered, but good. I'm earning money, which is great. Um, Cilla Black says, bright colours work well on television when presenting. <laughs> the, do, you know, do you not like me orange? No, she says it's good. People oh, right. like it. Do I look like a big satsuma? Or I've been tangoed. Uh, Peggy's fine, uh, Sarah. She's um, she's round about the bottom here, walking about. She's got her own cam and bed, but she's sort of just, you know, she's a bit like Shirley, isn't she? Just she's beggaring around. about. She's got old now. She doesn't. She doesn't want to lay in one place. No. Uh, Dawn Lovejoy is coming to see us at the bingo which is brilliant my cousin Lucy says she had to shout today because an 8 year old showed her the middle finger oh. she's a teacher when one's one do it they all start doing it now um, Nibbles and Bubbles would like to know if Scylla Black OBE is allowed out of the crypt to attend the bingo I don't think she is, is she'll she? be in spirit I think we might play a Scylla song yeah. in her, in her honour yeah. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a dead good night. So um, so things are popping through the it. post now as we speak. We're getting all our little bits and pieces. Brandy's got a new, a new barnet, hasn't she? Yeah, Brandy's getting a new hairdo. Uh, Sherry, you've made Sherry some new earrings, haven't you? Yep, Sherry's got some new earrings. Um, we're looking at lip syncing songs at the moment. Um, so there'll be a bit of, bit of that going on. And um, so, yeah, things like the bingo machines arrived, all the little games have arrived, our... Um, A3 size playing cards have arrived. You'll be wondering what we're doing with those. Um, so yeah, all the bits and pieces are on their way. Uh, here she is, thinks I'm in a Chess the Musical sweatshirt. You better stand up and show. I got you that, didn't I? A little Space Invader sweatshirt, yeah. From Vinted. Uh, Cole Taylor, someone said that on Big Brother once when she had to insult everyone as a task. Oh, you look like a big fat orange in that tracksuit. Oh, is that Ooh. poor Vanessa? Can't remember. Um, Mark Mondeo Pearson would have loved to be there, but it's my birthday on the 30th. That's all right. We don't mind. Anyone who's missed it 
we're sorry you're missing it, but we'll... Uh, there wasn't really much time, chance to get tickets, really, was there, really? Because it just they went so quickly. Darren B, Darren Bramley, cameraman Darren's asking, have we got any dabbers? Well, I'm trying to sort dabbers out at the moment. The, the, well, the, it's hard to get. The they're hard expensive. to get. They're very expensive. So, I mean, I've been trying to get them, like, cut price. But um, can I buffalo? Um, but we've got some lovely... We've got some bingo some markers. Really fat markers. So we've got some bingo markers. We were thinking of getting dabbers and then maybe selling them just so we made our money back on the dabbers. Um, which we still might do. Can we say hello to Tony? Hello, Tony. Tony is a, fa- a fan. Mm. Tony is a friend of Samantha Hallsworth and uh, watches us. Hello, Tony. And uh, didn't they, they didn't know. We were like each other, their dirty little secrets oh. that they'd never discussed to each other. We're a lot of dirty secrets. And then they both sort of outed themselves as fans. We get it all the time. We get lots of little <laughs> letters all, during the week, don't we? Little messages saying, oh, I love, I love getting in bed and looking you too. Uh, my uh, top is from, um, it was from Vinted, so I don't know where it's from. And it's, it's um, the brand is, I'll bring it over. Diffused. Diffused with a Z originals. Second hand. Vintage's amazing, really. If you get the seller that's actually getting the messages. I've um, bought lots of lovely things, but for some reason the seller hasn't um, responded and they only give you a week to buy it and then it sort of goes back into, you know, it goes in reverse, you get your money back and that can't. Let me try and point to my thing. Can I do it? I oh, know, I'm going to have to go and get it. Go and get it, go and get it. I spent my birthday money. Some of you were very kind and sent me some money for my birthday. And these arrived today, didn't they? Yeah. Now, I saw these in America. So some of you might have seen a photo of them already. So I saw them in America and I was going to buy them, but I was going... It's batteries. Then my batteries falling out. Um, Out of? Out of me. What's it? Peggy, come here. Don't eat this. Let me get the batteries before Peggy eats them. Um, They're not from... um, What's the face, are they? The batteries? Yeah, from... Uh, no, no, they're just some spare batteries. I had lying around. Beverly Heights. So, I saw these in uh, America, in a in a toy museum, and wanted them. But I was going from America, I was going from Houston to Mexico, and I only had carry-on luggage, because I didn't want to uh, put luggage in the bags, because I was having to change planes a lot. So I ummed and ahed about getting them or not, and then I looked them up and thought, well, I can get them when I'm in England and get them sent to me. So that's what happened. So this is my little present to myself. <laughs> Let me turn it round so they're not shining. It's a Fisher Price Golden Girls set. <laughs> is that amazing? <laughs> Let Fisher me see Price. if I can take the la- the label off so you can see it rather than it reflecting on you. I don't think you'll be able to see them. You can, there we go. Oh, you can see them there. Look. There we are. Fisher Price lost on little toddlers, really, aren't they? They're ace, aren't they? So that was a little present to myself. I've got a little like up there on my room. Uh, up there, I've got like Velma from Scooby Doo. God, she's seven uh, years old, isn't she? That's uh, Charlie Brown and Lucy, and there, and then that's a Fisher Price farmyard, mm. Mr. Potato Head, and they're they're joining them. Yeah. A lot of um, Jamie's little little trinkets, like Velma. Um, years we don't do it very. We don't do it now. We should do it really. But years ago, come here. Every Christmas, we used to make each other a, a Christmas cracker. Sit there. With a hat and a joke and a toy. So I used to make big crackers and put like, for example, Velma from Scooby Doo was in. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, and we'd have a little hat and a joke. They were ace. We haven't done it for a while, though. Um, there's the doll. There she is. There she is, Sarah. There's little Peggy. <laughs> she was a grumpy. Like she, we're forcing but she, her to... But she's not. She's very happy. She's a very happy little dog. Um, Darren Bramley says his wife is B.A. Crew, so next time if we need anything. But, I, but Darren, I need to turn left on the plane. <laughs> you need to instruct Mrs. Brammers... But if I, if I board, immediately she turns me to the left. And then you want to be also in the, in the lounge, don't you? 
Uh, I, well, I get in the lounge anyway. Oh, does she I know? get in the lounge anyway. I don't need Mrs. Bramley to get me in the lounge. Although I was, I told you this last week, wasn't I? Was turned away from the lounge oh, uh, in Mexico City with Charles Dance. Myself and Charles Dance were turned away from the lounge at the very same time. Why were we turned away? We shared a little bit of eye contact. Um, Because there was some water problem going on, so they had to shut it down. Not because you were riffraff? No, not because we were riffraff. My brother Um, says, who's that in the background in the red dress? Tell he hasn't been watching us for a while, can't you? Michael, how have you missed out on this? That's Beverly Heights. That's our air stewardess. Um, I've, I've had work this week, so a lot of this stuff has to go away. So Beverly's been stood in front of the window... And if anybody out the back looks up, it'd be like I'm a house of horror, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks like the psycho house because Beverly, Beverly Heights is staring down at the garden. Uh, for those interested in what we're supping tonight, I've got this new thing from Aldi, which is, um, you know, the, the, the Brothers Cider range. It's marshmallow flavour. Um, it's very sweet. Is it nice? Yeah. Too sweet? No, it's a bit like cream soda-y. And I've got um, uh, st- uh, Aperol... Spritz, but it's like Aldi, Aldi own version. Aperini. 85p a can, you can't beat it. Aperini. Aperini. It's very nice. Um, so we are going to talk tonight about the year 2000. Now, to me, it doesn't seem all that long ago, but it's only a quarter of a century away, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 22 oh. years ago. Wow. Um, like, we were all panicking that the Millennium Bug was going to take everything yeah. down and that planes were going to fall from the sky uh, and computers would stop working because clocks didn't know where to go. Yeah, exactly. Nothing happened. We were like, oh my God, it's going to be so strange having a, a year that's like 2000. Yeah, the noughties. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, how old were you in uh, 2000, if you want to reveal that? What were you doing? Who were you? What were you into? Um let us know. A lot of you have shared pictures, so we're going to have a little rundown of um, who you all are. And this will be uh, fun for you because, like us, we don't know what a lot of you look like. So this is really interesting for you to see what we all look like. So so back in 2000, I was 28, would you believe? Um, I would have been about six. <clears throat> You'd have been 26, wouldn't you? Um, oh, yeah, I would have been. Yes, you would. <laughs> I'd have turned 26. Um, so some of you here. sent pictures today and I was really shocked. Michael you're... says he was 20. <laughs> no, you were 30, love. <laughs> Bloody hell. You're... That's Alan's older brother. <laughs> you, you were born in 70, dear. Sorry, 30. He's corrected himself. Paul McFarlane was 27. Cilla Black was still alive. Uh, Mark the Vicar was in Singapore. Tracy, 30, was 12. Um... Nibbles and Bubbles, I always thought I'd be old in the year 2000. 30. Nibbles and Bubbles was 30 as well. Let's have a look. Sam Holdsworth was 34. Mark the Vicar, 25. Ali McGuinness turned 30. BG Bear was 33. Uh, Gareth Jones was 20 and looked a proper hot twink. So let's have a look. So this. Uh, oh, is that Alison? <laughs> yes. So uh, this is Alison. Uh, Alison Coates, who is... Uh, Caroline's older sister. So me and Caroline are best friends since we were about 12, 13. Uh, This is her older sister who um, used to give us hell when we were at school. Um, We love her now, but when we were at school, my goodness, she made our lives difficult. That's her getting married to her lovely husband, James. I I remember your friend's older siblings are always a bit like, they were a little bit gobby, weren't they? Yeah. Especially the parents weren't in. Um, what what tells us that's a 2000 wedding? The tiara. <laughs> the tiara. The Rachel. A little bit of a Rachel cut. And um, the, the... I think the cravat. Like the gelled hair in little, like, yeah. gelled individual Perfectly moments. Perfectly little... Stri- yeah. And I think the cravat. Were they um, quite sort of millennium-y? Cravat. Pastel cravats? Probably. Let's have a look who's next. Um, look lovely. Look, a pair of Bobby Dazzlers. See if I can just go through. I might have to go through them like this. Um, so the next one, uh, that's Andrew Chapman. I don't know if Andrew Chapman is in. Now, Andrew is it, Chapman is that from 2000? <laughs> claims this is from 2000, but I don't think it is. Um, now, I hate to like uh, throw, well, I, I like his caution. throw caution to the wind, but 
I don't think we were taking selfies like that in 2000. Is it a selfie? It looks like a selfie. So I question if that's a two, an actual 2000 photo. This cushion looks good, doesn't it? So I think it was, is it like a sort of paint cushion? Yeah, it does. It looked like paint effect. Yeah. But he, um, he does say he's a lot greyer now. So he said that's, uh, he is a lot greyer now. Oh my word, who's that? This is, let me have a look. This is Yvette Nightingale. <gasps> oh. Uh, Yvette Nightingale, uh, like us, um, trots around in a whole variety of looks. Um, so Yvette Nightingale in 2000, in a sort of leather ensemble. Yeah. Uh, and there's Yvette Nightingale oh, as well. Wow. Um, which isn't very 2000-y looking, Yvette. We think very, this is more kind of... Yvette, very, very sons and daughters. <laughs> yeah, or a little bit like Princess Diana when she was like in her F-me dress. Yeah, fabulous. Um, so that's Yvette Nightingale. Now, guess who this is? Ooh. I don't know who they're dressed as. If we can guess who they're dressed as, it would be amazing. Um... Well, they're obviously dressed as somebody from the 60s, aren't they? Or 70s. Well, they are in. They're watching today. That is BG Bear. <laughs> is it BG Bear? Is it, um, are you, um, Gloria Honeyford? BG Bear, who are you dressed as? And BG Bear, don't think we've missed your lovely, like, pot oh, hanger. Ma- Mary Berry. <laughs> That's Mary Berry, isn't it? Do you think it? it is? BG Bear, let us know who that is, who you are. Oh, who, who's this? And this is, this BG Bear as well. Oh, in and out. Same man. I'm presuming, BG Bear, that you're a lot hairier now because of the name Bear. I don't know if that's right. Here's another BG Bear. I don't know what she's up to there. Oh, she likes dressing up, doesn't she? Lovely outfit. I know, we'd like that, wouldn't we? Mm. Um, and another BG Bear in the year 2000. There we are, there we can see oh, it properly. Oh, look in there. Looks, is it somewhere? Very in, handsome. Very somewhere exciting there. Like some kind of festival. Well, there's chips and there's also a no, UK, da- a dairy, a UK bar. dairy bar. <laughs> Seeing if BG Bear's responded. Um, no, not sure. Let's have a look who's next. Oh, who's that? Another guy? wedding, another 2000 wedding. That is Carrie. Carrie Dullamore, who is in, I think, on one side. Um, so she's getting married to Ian there. Love Cravat. That. Cravat, and she's a very modern bride, isn't she, really? There's no veil, and there's a lovely modern contemporary-looking dress there. Yeah, not a very not a very 2000-y look, more classique. Mm. Ian's a bit 2000, with his um, moose hair. Yeah, the hair. Um, let's have a look who's next. We've got loads, loads of photos come in. <gasps> Shell! One with Shell! I would love that to be the real Shell. Um... Okay, let me tell you, uh, BG Bear has made an announcement. Um, it was a 70s night and he was supposed to be dressed as Charlie's Angels. Oh, sorry, I said he was Mary Berry. And then with the UK Dairy Bar, mm. um, that was Pride. Pride. I was going to say Pride because of the coloured flags, but... Can you imagine Mary Berry as one of the angels? <laughs> hey, hey, angels. Sir. So that's um, Claire William. Claire Williams on a college trip to London to Madame Tussaud and um, she made a beeline to the Welsh section. Now, I think this is Shirley when she was 60 because um, there was a there's a big concert of... Oh, yeah. And it was all the it was the gold feathers. I remember the gold feather um, boa. Mm. And uh, I think that's Tom Jones there lurking in the background. Yeah. I think. It might not be, but if it's the Welsh section, that's what I'm, I'm going for. Now we have a selection. See if you can guess it. We, we know who this is. Um, but see if anyone can guess. Oh, I know who this is. Who's this lovely lady? Let me show you another couple photos of her. Oh, yeah, she sent a selection, didn't she? There she is with her lovely fella. Oh, I love that hair. Oh, oh. God, I love... oh if that was a wig. Do you think that took a lot of lot of work? I or think, do you think it's amazing. Natural? No, I think that's natural. That is uh, Coral. Coral Daff. Um, so the lovely Coral, who's one of our biggest supporters and is coming to bingo. And forgive me, Coral, I've, I, I'm trying to work out who you support. Oh, I, we wouldn't know. It's the Blues. I don't... I, it's a United. I think it's football. Football United. I think it might be Colchester United. Football United. Colchester United. Football United. Is it the Blues United? 
It's a Blues United. Come on the Blues, come on the oh. Reds. It's a football game, it's a football game. Now is she waiting for the players? I think she's getting that bus herself to the match. Let me just do some... Bumph. Gone. There we go. We had someone uh, popping in telling everyone to go to a chat, an adult chat dating site. I've locked them. You, I mean, you can go if you want to, but I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother. It's um, all happening here. Yeah. And there we are, another Coral. But was... again, football club. We don't know who she supports. Um, so we'll have a look. Coral's a stunner, says NP. Lovely photos of our Coral, says Scylla. So there we go. Coral, let us know who is... Uh, who is there? Jason, are you in um, YouTube? Because I can make you a moderator if you're in there. Like, I want to make Silla Black a moderator. <laughs> but I don't want to ha- like harness Oh, she fun. wants to enjoy herself. Yeah. Um, I've, I think I've just... Um, I think, I think, I think you've got rid of them. They're only trying to... Let me... Um, I'm going to... Should I give BG Bear moderating qualities? BG Bear, would you mind moderating for a little while? What it will mean is that you just have the power to hide users from the channel. Let us know, and I can make you one. Uh, let's have a look. Next person. You know who this is. Oh, I know that. That's that's um, Dale and Caroline. That's Dale Ibbotson and Caroline Ibbotson. Uh, and I think 2000 might be... They look like they could like host the um, This Morning, don't they? <laughs> they, do, they do. I'm just um, doing a little bit of... Um, uh, I'm doing a bit of maintenance in here. Okay, let me just add you as a moderator. Um, Dale has the look of Ben Miller. Oh, um, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Now, I think this might be the year they got together. I'm not entirely sure, but it was certainly the year that they performed together in, I think it must be Oklahoma, and I'm thinking Dale must be Curly. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's Dale and Caroline. Dale giving Jim Carey vibes. Um... And then, look at Dishy Dale. <laughs> evening, boy. Evening to Gary and Debbie Coxhill, who are tuning in from Spain. Oh, they're in Spain again. Um, Hello, darlings. So there we are. Dale looking hot in his that looks headshot. Like, that looks like one of his headshot series, doesn't it? Yeah. Handsome, says Nibbles and Bubbles. Dale and Caroline are going to be at bingo, so look out for those faces. MP is swooning at Dale. Um, let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> here she is as late as leaving to go to the adult chat room. <laughs> <laughs> We've warmed him up. We've uh, warmed her up. Let's have a look. This is the man, the legend, Darren Bramley. Uh, he's at Chatham Dockyard there. Oh, he gets about, doesn't he? Gets he gets about, but here he is doing his job. So... Oh, it's a bit zoomed in. There he is with his big old camera. Oh, he's somewhere glamorous. Toon, toon Tatic or something. Uh, toon Attic, I think it was. It's a Saturday morning kids show. Um, so that's what Darren Bramley is up to there. Uh, and he was also doing a lot of Saturday morning shows, I think, around that time. Camera number three, zooming in. Zooming in. Um, Dave S has joined us. Dave from Carolina. Hey, Dave. Hello. Um, get ready. Here's a real 90s shot. One of our... I don't think he's in tonight. Do you know who that is? Um, I think it's one of the boys. Filippo. That's Filippo Yakiomo Brachiosaurus. Is yeah, he in? Gelled hair. Um, I think he said he was going to pop in. Yeah, um, gelled hair. Gelled hair look. White, white shirt. T-shirt. Pristine white shirt. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there we are, Filippo, a rare photo of Filippo. And then we go all the way over to Ameriki. And we have Sassy Chassis. <laughs> Gabrielle Chassis in 2000. He looks a bit like a Scouser, doesn't he? By a little picket fence. He does look a bit like a Scouser. He looks like he could, that could be a shot from Brookie, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, both of them. Uh, Darren Bramley is now camera two, so he's gone up. He's gone oh, up from camera three. Going to camera one in the end. Yeah. 
uh, Darren, did you do Get Fresh? Get Fresh at the weekend. But that was 80s, I think, with Gaz Top. Uh, so there's Gabby Chassis. Oh, what's what's going on here? That is Gareth Jones, who was just mentioning about being a, a, a hunk in the 80s. Or, yeah, they're definitely the sleeveless um, black sort of madness t-shirts. Yeah, I reckon Darren, uh, I reckon um, Gareth went to Rock Night. Yeah. Like on Friday nights, Rock Night. Rock Night at the Floral Hall. Is that, is that, is that a little Ford Fiesta? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's his car. Um, James Dean vibes, says yeah. Nibbles and Bubbles. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've got lots of them. Uh, Jason Rigby met the lovely Sean oh, in 2000. That. So they are little young lovers. Oh, lovely. Um, is This is Jason, isn't it? No, J- is-, is that Jason with the, with the floppy hair? Is it? Yeah, I think that's Jason. With that little... That's very... Oh, not, that's-, that's Top Man, that is. <laughs> I think that's Top Man. I buy those. Do you remember? You can get little, little bejewels On from leather. Top Man. Yeah. They're always by the till. I'll pop one with my trousers. <laughs> I'll get one of those to go with my, my tartan trousers. <laughs> um, Seven Network, is that you? Is, Gary, is Jason Rigby Seven Network? Yeah. Jason, which one are you? I, I want to think you're this, this chap here. And Alan thinks you're here. <laughs> Tell us, are you curtains or gel? <laughs> Say she is, says. Here she is, says, can I just tell you that my David and I were out to dinner and we both realised we'd watch your QVC girls independently. They are so our favourite of your girls. Bobby's hair is my best. You love Bobby's hair, don't you? I love it. Do you know, that wig cost me 10 quid. And um, Here she is, Bobby. It's Bobby with an eye. She'd be livid. <laughs> yeah, 10 quid that wig. Oh, it's one of, my, one of my best wigs. Alan was right. The lovely Jason is curtains. Is the chap with the curtains and the top man necklace. Now get ready. This is my perhaps my favorite favorite selection of two thousand photos. Oh, I know this is. I saw these. Isn't he cute? Look at that little face. That is Joel. Joel Hazeldean, who's in. I love the fact that you know school photos. They're normally just like a a, a bare white wall. <laughs> he's got a little. He's got a little forest behind him. And he's got a little arm to rest and on. And he's on a little wooden pew. <laughs> But look at his little tie. <laughs> well, you haven't Aww. seen nothing yet. And then for the millennium, he had a fancy dress party. <laughs> I was amazed at the look at the makeup. Isn't that brilliant? That's been sponged on, hasn't it? <laughs> he's got a little cheroot. <laughs> and he's got a little badge. A little gun. Now this is this is the time when you couldn't go to Asda and buy a complete outfit, could you? No. It had to be all like bought independently and put together. I hope, you, I hope you won first prize, Joel, for that. And Joel, is that your dad? I'm, I'm guessing your dad was something like a scarecrow. Scarecrow Joe? He's got Joe written on it. No, potato. No, potato, potato, potato sack. sack. So I think he's scarecrow and you're... Um... Like sheriff. Oh, he's got, I think he's got a pair of handcuffs. Sarah Simpson says, yep, yeah, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> Sarah say, is Joel's partner. Where's your Sarah? Have you not got any picture to send us? Uh, it's uh, is that your is that your dad, Joel? Yeah, it's his dad. There we go. Now, uh, g- cutting from there to another simmering hunk. Here we have Mark Eli Harris. Look at oh, him. Oh, mummy! What do you reckon? He's just going into A levels. Yeah. I reckon about that age. Yeah. Um, bit of a puffer jacket on. Yeah. Um, I don't this. know where you are. You look like you're in. Where's that? Well, he's high like? up somewhere, isn't he? He's high up somewhere. Maybe a tower, <laughs> a lighthouse, and he's got those um, stonewashed jeans on. Uh, so, Dave, we are talking about the year two thousand. What were you doing in the year two thousand when we when we had the Menelium, the Liza Menelium, the Liza Menelium? Where were you? So we just, so people have shared their photos. Um, here's another. Uh, well, we are. We, we know, know who this that is. is. There is the very handsome and the very beautiful Neil and Lady V. Neil Sandwell and Lady V, Lady Vanessa, at some sort of function, I think. Yeah. I don't think it's a wedding photo. They look very at home at balls, don't they? <laughs> they do. Because they sort of, I don't know, I bet they um, always like match. Like, his tie will always match Lady V's dress. 
Oh uh, yeah, do you, th- but do you think that's thought out? Yeah, I mean they're very, they're very, um, very dapper. Here we go. Two. Mark Eli Harris is there. Mark Eli Harris is saying, "Look at my baby face." There's Mark now. Mark, what tower are you up to? Let us know what tower you were on. So yes, Lord and Lady Vanessa, Lord and Lady Sandwell, forgive me there. Uh, next photo of the game, very, very uh, millennial. Oh, that's Concord, isn't Nick it? Nick Roberts wearing, posing with a tan by Concord. No, it's either getting on it or getting off it. <laughs> or just walk, walking by it. Nick Ro- uh, Nick Roberts wearing looks like he could be queuing for um, Pop Idol. It's a shame that milk van's there in the way, isn't it? Doesn't he? Or one of the people that auditions for Big Brother mm. in that little uh, that little yeah. get up. There's Nick Roberts wearing. So we can see what you look like now, Nick. There's Nick Roberts wearing. Yeah. <laughs> By Concord. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, so there's comments coming in about Neil and Lady V. Yeah. That the wallpaper also matched the outfits. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, all sort of, thought very out. saloony looking, isn't it? All, all cri- thought out. Or Christmassy looking. Um, I've been seeing if there's anything else come out. We always match. My, uh, Neil says now it's the walking stick always matches as well. Um, let's have a look. Next photo we've got is Nicola Utting. Oh, wow. Second from the left. Tell me which is second from the na- left. This is yeah. here, yeah? Yeah. With the, with the fringe. Yeah. You look fabulous, Nicola. Fabulous, fabulous bunch of girls, and they're in some kind of country kitchen. Because <laughs> so I can see there's all, like those pots behind them. There's a little Union Jack flag there in your um, stoneware. Now I'm guessing here. I'm, you know, I'm guessing this must be about what half eight on a Saturday night before you all go out. It could now? be for Millennium. It could be like we're off out for the Millennium. Yeah, wait, wait for, wait for the taxi, <laughs> taking you to town. And look what's happened to Nicola Utting's picture. Oh, so a big old pin mark. <laughs> <laughs> Pin it up. It's funny because when you get face on, you start looking in the background like, oh, I think play on the wall. Look at this skirt. <coughs> Very short skirt from Ooh, the, the leggy shorts. blonde. Yeah. Um, let's have a look who else we've got. Oh, wonderful. Coming up now, for those of you who've never seen him. Capital uh, capital letters himself. Capital one, isn't it? That's Paul McScottish Farlane. Yep. I don't it. think he's in a kilt. And has he got... Is that a hand on his shoulder there? <laughs> I think it, it's not D'Angela's hand, though. No. Uh, Jason Rigby says in the last photo, you can almost smell the Lambrini. Now, Paul, was that one of those Christmas presents where a shirt comes with a tie? <laughs> Do you remember them? <laughs> Paul was working for Boots at that point. 27, oh, is, working is that, for Boots. Is that so your might uniform? Have a, might have been a uniform. Got a few more to go through. Let's have a look. We've got uh, Samantha Fenolhet. Uh, who's changed his surname recently, so I've just got to get used to Samantha Fennelhat. Looks like um, that might be like your manager or yeah. um, store manager. Yeah. <laughs> store or manager. A, or like manager of the railway station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So customer services. Let's keep going. We've not got many left. Let's have a look. No, I know that is. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is the legend herself, Bubbles from Nibbles and Bubbles. Um, and is this was this Flamingo Land? So they were at Flamingo Land, and that I think is Shari's daughter Kate, who had um, spilt food. I think spilt food all down her outfit. Um, so Shari had to buy her a t-shirt and fashion it into a little summer dress. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very good. There, isn't little it? single Perfect. single mum she was then. I think single mum to two young girls, taking them out to Flamingo World. Flamingo Land, I love it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, that is little Spencer Josh, a.k.a. Josh Spencer. Josh Spencer, with his mum, I'll take it. Or a teacher. A teacher at school. I think it's his mum. We can have another closer up look. There he is. Oh. Okay. No little no little pew to perch on for Spencer Josh. Um, I, like, I like his little sort of hair. Yeah, yeah, sort just a little, little bit messy. Yeah, a bit messy, no. I didn't know it was a school photograph today. Uh, we've also got we've got a couple left. We've got Will Spilsbury in two thousand with his best mate. Ah. And then Will Spilsbury now with his best mate. Oh, excellent! Not aged. What's happened to those twenty-two years? It look, it's exactly the same. Oh, he looks half himself, doesn't he? And whilst we're on it, there we go. Is 
the very dishy. Look at him there, Spencer Carter. <laughs> he looks like that Spencer boy band Carter. He does, doesn't he? Now, yeah, you can tell. No wonder you're in a boy band. I think, is he on the Thames there, Alan? No, yeah. that's somewhere posher, isn't it? Richmond, is it? No, oh, no it looks Abroad? like somewhere posh. It might be the Saint. The Saint. Um, and then we have a couple of photos that were sent in, which we are dubious as to them being from the year 2000. But we're still going to show them. We have... Martin. Martin. No, he did say it wasn't 2000. He's owning up to this. There he is, with a mullet. And, and he's the one in the, in the orange. He's in he? the one in the orange. That's Martin, who runs the venue which we are doing drag bingo at. And he's currently at RuPaul's Drag Race tonight. Um, let me just get rid of this. Well, ask him who he's with in that picture. And we have also Mishmash, Alan's brother. Now, he says this is 2000, but um, I think it's a little bit late, isn't it? We don't think it's 2000. We question it being the year 2000. But look, he's very, very ch- happy there with um, with Luke. So that's Alan's, that's Alan's big brother. Yep. And he's not wearing lipstick. He's just got shiny lips. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's all of you lot. I think that's everyone. Let me see, did I miss anyone out? Uh, Sarah says she sent some pictures, but I think... Um, oh, Sarah, it'll be really, it'll we really can't hard get to them because we're, we're streaming. We're using up kind of all of the um, all of the bandwidth. Um, so unfortunately, we can't share any more of yours, but... But we'll show them next week. <laughs> we will show them next week. Um, let's play some adverts and we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Live on camera, 24 hours a day, with nowhere to hide. Ten people completely at your mercy, because each week you decide who stays and who goes. Big Brother kicks off on Channel 4 on Tuesday night, but if you can't wait till then, it's live on the web right now at channel4.com slash bigbrother. Big Brother on TV, Tuesday at 9 on 4, and on the web right now. Go to Hill. Hi, Harry. Hi, Connie. We need to print this map. Okay. Just click here. Wiki graphics? I'll show you wicked. It's broken. No, Mum's locked it. With AOL, parental controls to the internet are built in. What are you lot up to? Homework. Homework. Yeah. How about you, Katie? Chatting to Bianca. Bianca in Brazil? Yeah, about her new boyfriend in great detail. Brazil in detail? Oh, oh, just the cost of a local call. About 5p. 5p? Email mum private. Sorry. AOL. So easy to use. No wonder we're number one. Are you a homeowner who could benefit from an ocean finance loan? Perhaps by reducing your monthly outgoings by consolidating existing debts, home improving, or simply treating yourself to whatever you have in mind. Many already have. We consolidated 23 debts. I saw the advert, I saw people who looked like I was in my situation, looked like honest, normal people, not actors. We put the floor in, we knocked some walls down, we put some doors in. (laughs) And what was really nice was when we paid everything off, We had enough money left to go on a family holiday, which was something we hadn't done for a while. It was as though a great weight had been lifted and I had the first good night's sleep in I don't know how many months. Ocean consider all circumstances and rates are competitive. So for that homeowner loan of up to £100,000, call us now on 0800 626 455 or apply online at oceanfinance.co.uk. To try AOL on the internet, just call 0800 586 586. AOL, so easy to use, no wonder we're number one. And it's free. ...about them. Oh, was that 2000 when they... Year 2000. Oh, so the arrival of the Slater sisters and the arrival of Big Brother. Piggy. Um, so, yeah, and do you remember Connie, the AOL? Oh, annoying Connie. Nicola Utting. Um, Nicola was, I think, in the Lambrini gang. Um, so she still has an AOL uh, email address. And it, cringing when she has to give it out. Oh, I bet Connie's getting on a bit now, isn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah. wonder what Connie... <laughs> Poor Connie. Connie was dial-up. I think there was about five Connies one there over the <laughs> period of time. But, yeah, the Slaters were ace, weren't they? Yeah, I remember them coming into it. Uh, so we've, we've, we've looked at you guys... 
so let's it's only fair that we have a look at me and Alan in the uh, in the year 2000. Should we start with a picture of both of us? Yes. There we are. And this was for a friend's wedding. Um, we didn't really plan on like wearing the same shirt. I think we, we did. I think we did plan on the same colour shirt. Oh, okay. Um, and we got matching gerberas on the way. Um, flowers. Little flowers. Should I get Peggy on the sofa? Or wait, yeah. Peggs, come up here. Come so on. this was for a friend's Actually. wedding. Um, she got married at I think, Finsbury Park. Um, uh, registration office, register office, and then the lady who was marrying her said, "Oh, pair of twins." Yeah, twins as witnesses. Oh, well, okay. Um, it was yeah, it was a just there was just the four of us there. It was a very locally wedding, but um, it was lovely. So that is yeah, that's me and Alan back there Match, we, matching the wallpaper. We've been dating about three years then. Oh, and I, I had a chin. I know, I had cheek, I had cheekbones. And hair. Um, let's have a look at another photo. So Alan spent most of 2000 doing this kind of thing. I was at the Millennium Doom. So that's Alan in there. And that, and that blue nose is where I used to look through. And, um, and Zoe, who I'm with there, she was sort of my bouncer. So she'd drive me on a little golf buggy. You have to wave. And wave. And there's another character called Sprinks. So this is Cogsley and Sprinks. And they were the sort of like, um, what do you call it? The, the Millennium Dome uh, mascots? Mascots, yeah. And they were like the timekeepers of the Millennium. Uh, so we'd get driven around on a golf cart. Silver like, Black says you're a very versatile performer. Oh, I, I am. <laughs> and um, so like the Queen Mother, we'd get driven around, get off the buggy... Go and meet some kids, get some photos took and get driven back. I think your little buddy's there in the background. Uh, yeah, that'd be, that's a bag, I think. Oh, OK. I thought that was I him. think Zoe's holding a, a Cogsley bag there. Oh, OK. In the shop. Um, Dave from Georgia, he's not in Carolina anymore, has made an observation. Mm. Zoe has amazingly large hands. <laughs> Doesn't she have big hands? She does, yeah. She's a good pianist. I wonder if she was a pianist. She was lovely, as I remember her. I remember I don't know where she is now, but I remember her. Lovely. So you were kind of dressed like that when you um, witnessed the Millennium Jewel heist, weren't you? No, that day I was, an, head. A, I was an alien that day. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that was actually one of the best jobs there. I did a lot of shit jobs I'll we'll show there. you the other, other, other things Alan did whilst he was at the Millennium Dome. I was a snowman. So the, um, they had a big sort of winter wonderland there towards the end of the... I don't know whether some of you have been there. Do you want to build a snowman? And it was lovely. There was a skating rink and everything. And snow and little villages and stuff. And um, we were snowmen. And Alan was also... Uh, Santa. Santa. And Alan was also... A Millennium... Dome. Millie and Dame. Dome Dame. The Dome Dame. With my breakfast um, dress on. So yeah, that's uh, you were doing that for most of the year, but also some of the year Alan spent <laughs> theatre and education, theatre for the children's legs akimbo. Yep, yeah, there we are, Crag Rats. Tell us about Crag Rats. Oh, Crag Rats was um, set up in Yorkshire, and they'd send these little teams out across the country. Usually two men, two women. And it's all about careers. That, that You're work. telling like, what, fifth years? Yeah, so... Um, in People s- are going into A-level. So we'd use sketches and songs and dances, um, advising kids to take make the right decisions, whether it be NVQs or A-levels or um, apprenticeship ships, 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 ships. And you changed the lyrics to like pop songs from that year, didn't you? Yeah. So like All Saints songs became like... You can do your A levels or MBQ. So it's very <laughs> legs akimbo. So we all went out in little teams in little white vans <laughs> across the country. I'm sure some of you have heard of Crag Rats. We, you most probably, some of these might have seen you. Yes, yeah, some they of you might have been, been in, in your audience. audience. Um, I did this one show in your, your neck of the woods. Dave's got to go. Bye, Dave. And um, there was these big girls sat in the front row. And me and Arnie there, we were doing our bit. And they, they just sat, they were doing, they were doing Sharon Stone to us. What, and flashing their knickers? Yeah, they were, their legs were 
you know. And then at the end, you say any questions, hoping to be about where can I find information about MVQs? <laughs> I'm interested in the B tech. I'm interested in A levels, <laughs> but the questions were like, um, "Are you going out with her?" <laughs> and is she going out with him? <laughs> and then the girl with the red hair at that time, <laughs> bless her, was in a Tampax advert. Oh, what was the advert? It was like Tampax or something. Oh, yeah. she was. Maybe she was playing tennis and then she wasn't going to play it because she had a time of the month yeah. and then she got a Tampax and decided to play it. And it was an advert that was on all the time. Unfortunately, all the kids recognised her. So they were like, you that, you that girl from the Tampax advert? I don't know why I'm doing rough voices. Caroline Ibbotson remembers Crag Rats. Oh, do you? Uh, and people thought that Alan drove a monster truck. <laughs> Are you Burr Barney from Monster Trucks? <laughs> or they thought, they thought I was a DJ from like Red Rose Radio. This is the same time that I then went and met up with Alan in Blackpool. Yeah, you did. And you? I was wearing a fur coat and platform boots. <laughs> fur coat, no knickers. <laughs> Who did I think I was? Oh, they asked me to go back for another stint at the Crag Rats and I politely declined. So uh, let's have a look at what I was up to. I was... Working in the bookshop, so I worked at Books Etc. Um, and I worked there for years and years. And um, when new Harry Potter books came out, um, I used to do kind of a Harry Potter live show and uh, deliver the books. And uh, this was me delivering Goblet of Fire. And so they got this, they hired this car so we could drive around London and I would appear with the books and do a reading and do some magic tricks for kids. And... Um, you met, didn't you, um, Rowling? Yeah, I met J.K. Rowling a few times. And then later on, I then got hired by Warner Brothers to do lots of Harry Potter stuff. Um, so I met her quite a few times. But yeah, these were... I, I met her at this point, And she signed a book to Harry Potter for me. Because um, no one else was doing it at that time. It was just getting big. Yeah. And um, yeah, she signed a book to Harry Potter. And we sold that. We made a lot of money, didn't we? Yeah. Sold it to the States. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's me again. There's me with my friend Annie, oh. who often joins us in the wig and sling back. Um, but yeah, you can see I've got my little scarred head as well. I had a little, uh, lightning scar and a rather rubbish outfit. <laughs> I think your outfit looks really good. The hat's a bit bobbins, isn't it? Mm. But the jacket's, the jacket's lovely. The car was great driving around in that. And then I'll find pictures of me doing other Harry Potter stuff. Later on, but that's what I was doing. I worked in a bookshop from about 98 to about 2005. Yeah, that was your sort of part-time job, wasn't it? Well, well when, full-time when I was at... When, Co- you, when you were doing your acting. So this is the bookshop in Covent Garden, which I loved, and I worked there for a long time and made friends for life in there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, and we also then got invited to lots of events. Because I worked in Covent Garden, it was kind of the bookshop uh, in London, so we got all the invites. So, <laughs> lovely Jay McDonald there. <laughs> there we are. Jay McDonald was all over Alan. Couldn't be asked with me. All over Alan. Well, I mentioned. Well, I studied in Wakefield and lived in <laughs> Wakefield, so we we were talking about. Uh, uh, we were the, talking about like Ava that, Gardner, the the pan shop. That record. <laughs> yeah, you were. Avocanda. <laughs> Um, and you went, you went, Jane, have you, have you heard of Monkey Run in Southport? She went, eh, what are you going about? Yeah, she didn't like me. Um, but um, she, that was her book launch. when she, So she was just off the cruise, really. Um, and she was, she was lovely. She was lovely to everybody, apart from you. Uh, <laughs> she came, came, came to our table. Uh, there was about six of us from the bookshop there. And um, she went, hello, Covent Garden! Like she was doing a gig. <laughs> But what she knew is she thought if she butters you lot up, you're gonna flog her book. Flog her book, we didn't. It ended up it ended up being pulped. Oh, and I got one signed to my nana, didn't I? From yeah. Her. And I got that back when my nana died. Will Vena says, "Is it just me seeing Reese Shearsmith?" I uh, got mistaken for Reese Shearsmith quite a lot. Yeah, back you did, then. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. He came to see me in a play, in fact, where I played a flasher, and I had to get my bits out. Um, and I've not, I've not washed there since. Jane touched me there. <laughs> Look at her. There we go. So that's what I was up to. Um, Meanwhile, Alan was also creating um, some little movies. Yep. And there there is a a set of my teeth. So one of my teeth is, what, 20 odd years old? 
Yeah, who wears them? I think it might be uh, Windham Lockett. <laughs> so that's a character Alan played called Bunty Chutney um, in a series of sketches where Bunty Chutney was in lots of TV shows across the years. And there she was in like a casualty drama. Without you friend. did loads of sketches of, with Bunty Chutney in, didn't you? Yeah. Um, Bunty Chutney was in Big Brother. Bunty Chutney was in silent movies. Yep, she was in a 50s sitcom. She got thrown out of a window, didn't she? Yep. <laughs> It was like an old slapstick <laughs> film. Stunt. We made a fake Bunty Chutney to throw out of a window. And then she was in a wartime drama and she had little crosses on her glasses like they did with the windows. <laughs> yeah, she did. Um, and also at that time was the birth of... The Two Reenies. The Two Reenies. So this was uh, our first kind of foray into doing a little bit of drag, drag comedy. Yeah. Um, and they were just, they were basically the Two Ronnies. Yeah. This is in our old old flat in Eltham. We put some little antimacasters on stuff. And I've still got the pink glasses, and I've still got the wig I'm wearing. Um, your wig isn't. I don't know. Your your wig your wig your wig was sold on. I think <laughs> when we moved, they were your glasses, weren't they? They were, yeah. Your glasses that you wore at A levels. Yeah. Um, let's have a look what else we've got in our little bundle of photos. Uh, we weren't just dressing up for like that. We dressed up just for parties as well. This was for a royal themed dinner, wasn't it? I don't know what we were dressed as. Then. We went as whole, we went. I don't know what we were. <laughs> I think I was meant to be a queen or something, or Queen Princess Anne. We were just like royal royal watchers. I'm not. I can't be in fancy dress. Look, I'm just in a gingham top and an afro wig and a pair of glasses. <laughs> Wait, well, so it's the same year because of the glasses, isn't it? Yeah. And then we have, I think, one final photo of us us two, which you all saw today, I think. But I love that photo of us. That was, I think, my birthday party. At was it? Um, Saucy Jack. Saucy Jack and the Space Vixens, which was yeah. a bar in London Bridge under the arches. And there was a musical show and then a nightclub. And that's afterward. August 2000, isn't it? Because yeah. I remember I, I was working till eight at the Dome. And I had to come across London to meet you about nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that's why, again, when I had hair and a chin. What little little boys we were. Was it? Yeah. There we go. So that's us in the year 2000. That was you in the year 2000. Um, TV stuff. I wrote down a little list. Have I got it there? It's here, I think. Big TV in the year 2000. So the weakest link began. Oh, wow. Um, with uh, Anne Robinson. Um, she wasn't anything before that, was she? Well, yeah, she was sort of... Um, points of view. Points of view sort of thing, wasn't she? Was, was she watchdog back then? Yeah, things like that. But yeah, so Weakest Link started. Also started in 2000, Bargain Hunt. Really? Yeah, so the start of David Dickinson. Oh, yeah, because he started off, didn't he? Orangey David Dickinson. Um, a Place in the Sun began in 2000. Oh, wow. So that's been on for 22 years. And I think Shari has watched all of them. Every single one. <laughs> she has it on Series Link. Um, Dinner Ladies, Alex Clark says. <gasps> I think Dinner Ladies finished in 2000. Well, it was only on about a year. One or two years, wasn't it? Because we went to see it being filmed, didn't we, in 98, maybe? There wasn't some of the episodes about the Millennium. And then I think there was an episode about the Millennium. And then I think it ended... Mm. Yeah, Jason says Dinner Ladies was 98. 98, 99 and 2000. And then mm. I think it finished with Millennium episodes. Mm. I might be wrong. Um, Big Brother, of course, began. And uh, I didn't watch it at the start, Big Brother. But you started watching it, didn't you? Well, I remember watching it because um, I was at the, we were at the Dome. And everybody said, oh, it's this new weird program. And uh, where people just like living in a, a house in the middle of the... And it wasn't far from us, I don't think, was it? No, and... Uh, was it in Greenwich then? No, it wasn't. I no. think it was in Bow. Oh, I was in Bow. And um, uh, a black guy called Darren was in Big Brother. I can't think he came third or second, third. And he worked at the Dome, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so people were watching because of that. Yeah, Darren was in it and looked after the chickens. Um, but do you remember? It was all kind of real basic, wasn't it? Oh, it was so basic. They had that... chickens. They didn't have washing machines, did and they? And I think they even thought nobody was watching this, are they? Nobody nobody can be watching this, surely. We went to um, 
Sada. Do you remember Sada? I know yeah. her name Sada. Sada got was the first ever person knocked out of Big Brother, and we went to her book launch. She brought out a book, a yoga book, but it was a because she'd been on Big Brother, and like suddenly Big Brother was the TV sort of event. Mm. It was a huge deal, and all of the Big Brother people were there, and so. Yeah, uh, I met Anna from Big Brother. I remember being really excited about meeting Anna, mm. who, if you remember Big Brother 1, was an Irish skateboarding ex-nun lesbian. And we saw her not long ago. We were doing the um, Irish Bake Off. Yeah, she presented the Irish Bake Off. I have some clips of Big Brother. <laughs> chickens this whole house seems pretty non-sexual though all you've done it seems to me this week is sleep 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 and eat no oh. adults excuse me Craig caroline and nikki Craig and you are seriously Craig. writing down names nick oh. afraid of you nice. oh you're afraid of me i should be leaving the house sick if you live by the sword you die by the sword I'm having a L A U G H. Right, it's I'll, called yeah. a laugh. It's Craig. Hey, 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 hey. Should we do a special task in the dining yeah. room for you? Yeah. No. <laughs> God, that seems like yeah. yesterday. Because I, I loved Big Brother, didn't I? It looked so basic, didn't it? Yeah. We watched, uh, we both religiously kind of watched the second Big Brother with Brian. And the third, did we watch the third one? I remember, Al- probably... I remember Alison Hammond. Yeah, that's the third one with Jade Goody. And then you kind of went off it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Really? Just... Oh no, we watched Nadia. We watched it's the okay. series with Nadia because we it's liked okay. her. It's okay. Yeah, um, it just started getting longer and longer, didn't it? And yeah, so, and too many people. Every and night, every night, to, you know. Too fame brothers, hungry. Big Brother's on. Oh. But Big Brother is coming back. BG Bears just said it. I know. Uh, Eat Me Cafe and Social are just popping in. Oh, they're popping in. Um, come here. So, hello, Eat Me Cafe. Let me just uh, see if I can bring you up very quickly on screen. Yes, Martin. Who, who, who are you with? Who's this? Who are you with? We're loving your little orange. Alan's worn orange tonight as well in solidarity. Who are you with, Eat Me? Let us know. Lovely picture, boys. Uh, gimme, 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 Jason Rigby says was a 19... Uh, was a 2000 programme. Oh, wow. Uh, Michael's still in, Alan's brother. He loves Gimme, Gimme, Gimme and Dinner Ladies. So he'll be chatting about that in there. Also in 2000 was... Do you remember this? The BBC wanted it to be a huge hit. Castaway. Oh. Do you remember it on Terence? With... Um... Fogel. Ben Fogel. There was a peep, they put people onto an island, didn't they, in the Scottish mm. Hebrides? For a year, wasn't it? For a year, and they wanted it to be like the kind of new, like they were going to form a society. And and I think basically everyone left within a week. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyone, yeah, Taryn say. Let us know if you remember Castaway. Um, ben Fogel. I can't even remember any others. It kind of was on like a little bit at the start and then it sort of disappeared. Yeah. Did it stop, then it stopped. Then it went back about six months later. Because they actually stayed yeah. there for a year, didn't they? Not all of them. Most of them left. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, most people left. I bet he, Just was, a I few bet he kind stayed. Of, some like really dirty posh stayed. I think I think Ben Fogel stayed. Uh, also in 2000, I wrote down Naked Jungle. Do you remember Naked Jungle? Is that with che- Cheggers? Cheggers in the new. Cheggers got his little pop out. <laughs> Cheggers played pop. It was um, like uh, on Safari, but the contestants were naked and Cheggers was naked. A bit like Naked Attraction meets... Meets, uh, yeah, Fun meets... House. It's a knockout. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because they were clambering up like walls and stuff. So everything was like opening to the camera. Darren Bramley, I hope you weren't camera three on Naked Jungle. <coughs> oh, no. Um... Oh, yeah, some people remember Castaway. And films. I looked at films in 2000. There wasn't really anything, like, brilliant in 2000. I don't remember actually going to the cinema, then because I've worked a lot of nights. So. Billy Elliot came out in 2000, yeah. which we loved. It's one of our yeah. fave films, probably. 
Um, Best in Show came out in 2000, which we'd have got out from Blockbuster Video mm. and watched because we loved it. Did we, and we mostly bought, bought it. Do you know when Blockbuster used to um, <coughs> used to go and buy um, previously viewed tapes, and they would be like three ninety nine or five ninety nine. I think we got Best in Show. Yeah. Because um, yeah, we loved it, and the Green Mile, mm. which um, you love, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. still love that film, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's all I could think of for two thousand. And as for pop music. I looked, I didn't know any of it. All Saints, I kind of knew. But by that age, we, we'd stopped listening to pop. Yeah, we were just... Too old. We were just listening to the, our old stuff, weren't we? And uh, Mark Hall remembers Naked Jungle. His eyes have never recovered. If anyone wants to watch Naked Jungle, it is all on YouTube. I looked and found it today. I was going to oh, show you a word. clip. Um, but oh, I, I don't, we don't We don't want to be I pulled. See, I don't see nickel checkers. We don't want to be pulled off. We don't want no. anyone pulling off. Um... Darren B says Cheggers was the best. That was shot at Maidstone and the crew had to strip off too. So mm. all the camera crew were in the nude as well. Darren B, did you ever work on Big Breakfast? That looked like a fun one. I remember Cheggers was on that. Or yeah, have you we, always been ITV? We talked about that last week, didn't we? Uh, Mad Abba fan, Naked Jungle. It's on It's on uh, YouTube, so have a little watch. Um, the Green Mile, great film, says Andrew Chapman. You mm. love it, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, the Green Mile, um, the guy from the Green Mile who's died now, was he married to Omarosa? Yeah, yeah, the the um... apprentice contestant yeah. who the... became Trump's like uh, assistant for a while, and now he's just doing reality TV. Yeah, I think he was also was he in Planet of the Apes. Was he Michael Michael Foster Duncan or something like that? He's he called, isn't he? Uh, Melanie Fairley, no idea on pop music after the early 90s. Same. Well, I, not not same, because Spice Girls. I remember Spice. Mm. And I remember the career of Jerry Halliwell. I remember like the little careers of the Spices. So I think in 2000, now thinking about it, Posh Spice would have been in 2000 with um, out, You're Out of Your Mind. Uh, are they, with are, Dane Bowers. Have they already disbanded by now? Or yeah. They? And... Jerry would have been out then. Look at look at me. Uh, bag it up, maybe. Alex says Scooch. <laughs> Scooch released their album in 2000. Oh, Alex, that's why I adore you, that you would know that sort of little fact. Um, Jerry Springer had a British version of Jerry Springer in 2000. Oh, it didn't last long, did it? Um, Best in Show was the dog show film, um, which I watched on a flight just a couple of weeks ago again. Steps were around. Yeah, they were. Were Steps around in 2000? Yeah. Um... Britney was the noughties. I think it's Britney Bitch was was it 2000. Um, Darren says lots of Trumps did Big Breakfast. He was GMTV. Um, Steps were around in 2000. Do you know what I used to bug me about Steps? Is when they're on top of the pops, H was always very aware of the cameras. Oh, he'd always stick his tongue out, would And would stick his tongue out at a camera as he sort of walked around. Hello, Nibbles! Hey! Shari, your husband has popped in. He's popped in on his break. Now, Chris, you've let us down by not sending us a picture of you in 2000. Yeah, you've promised us a picture of you in drag. So we want to. We haven't forgotten about that. Will Venus says steps split Boxing Day 2001. Oh. I have a feeling Will Venus is a bit of a steps fan. I bet they planned that. Thought, well, we'll set our CDs for Christmas and then we'll, blo- we'll give them the bad news. Um, Linda LeHughes, my uh, cousin, says best in show was my Auntie Eileen. So Linda's mum's life. Because she was a dog breeder. Um, so Linda says so she identified it with it totally. Yeah. I'm sure Lucy had to go, Linda had to go to Crufts a lot. Uh, Nigel TC says, Neil says, Kylie was spinning around in 2000. Was she in a little hot pants, gold hot pants? Shaggy 2000. Oops, I did it again 2000. At Home with the Braithwaite started in 2000. I never watched that, did Is you? That, was that the guy from, was Noddy Holder in that? No. Might have been. No, I don't think so. We might. Oh, we're. we're, we're oh, we're talking a nearly a quarter of a century ago. Um. Here we go. Will Venus says he was volunteering on a farm on um, Boxing Day 2001 and saw the newspaper headline. <gasps> and Nibbles and Bubbles were not together in 2000. Uh, Chris Nibbles says. Um, couldn't find one from 2000. It's got to come from 1999. It's good as. Good as. You could have popped that over. 
Martin from Eat Me sent one from like 1987. Uh, here we go. Charles H34 says, Worst song ever of the 2000s. Drops of Jupiter, tell me. Here in New Zealand, we're in a radio station's paying money not to request it. Oh, Mad no. fan says, Noddy was in the Grimleys. Oh, okay. Not at Home with the Braceweights. Home with the Braceweights was a comedy about a lottery win from Yorkshire TV. It had that woman in it who's called Julie something. Um, she's got dark hair. She's got lips a bit like that. She was in that film where everyone was dying and there were only a few people left alive. She's Scottish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think no. she was in it. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> got capitate. We're like Will and Grace when we try and work things out, aren't we? We have our own little language. Sort of Scottish Kay Mella, wasn't she? <laughs> um, first Age Comics, memories of doing As to Check Out with Same Songs on Repeat in 2000. Oh, Ooh, what was a big seller in As to 2000? What sort of food would we be eating? I don't know. What were we up to in 2000? Millennium, Millennium Night, we spent... Was it just the two of us? Yeah, I was working at the Dome till 6.30. No, uh, and Millennium uh, Night? Well, no, the end of the year. No, the first one. Oh, it turned into millennium. Oh, I was at the Science Museum. Um, and we science me and we, we had a little buffet at home. We had a little we? buffet at home. We played with Shirley Bassey most probably and a bit of maybe Patty Lepont. Yeah. And um we went out at midnight to see you fight like celebrate. And um a little bus went past with about three people on it. Just sat there. At midnight, I thought, oh, we, we, just, really we just turned turned a century in the sun. Some, some people are just seeing it in on the three two one to Eltham. Uh, but we, because we were near Greenwich, we could see the fireworks from our yeah. house. Um, so, yeah. Oh, awesome. Best adult dating sites popped in again. BG Beth, thank you so much for keeping hiding them. Um, Julie I, I, don't, I don't think they've got any of our plot, have they? <laughs> I, know, I don't know why they're... They're wasting their time. They're, wa- they're wasting their time, as Posh Spice would sing. Do you know what? I was dancing to Posh Spice... And I got so sort of like flamboyant with my arms that I knocked my glasses off and they went spinning across the dance floor. And um, when I found them, they'd been stood on. Oh dear, when was this? Birthday. Saucy Jack and the Space Fixers. Oh lordy. I had to... um... I had to get you home, didn't I? Yeah. Um, Darren B says, have we done a Shirley homage or Bond themes? We haven't done Bond themes. Maybe we should do an album of Bond themes. We're thinking of doing another... We did now... Now, that's what I call the 80s, and we did a selection of songs from the 80s, which I shared Tiffany from that recently. Mm. We should do another, maybe sort of like, now that's what I call, now that's what I call classics. Now that's what I call your nan's music. And then we can have lots of old old people popping up, like um, Peters and Lee. Yeah, yeah. And... Nan Radio. Uh, yeah, and Mama Cass. Mm. Uh, Mishmash was sat on the bonnet of his car having a beer, 2000. Oh, right, where are you? Uh, Nibbles and Bubbles, back in my hometown with the kids, staying at her dad's. We went up a hill behind his house and watched all the fireworks. It was symbolic of a new start for me. I'll never forget it. Because I think you just, she just, hubby number one had gone and she was there with the kids. Um, I, I remember it being a big sort of, a big sort of like, you know, wow, it's went to a new decade now. And... There was, it was expensive, wasn't it, to go out? Yeah, oh yeah, everything was, everything, it was, that was when people started charging you, wanted to go in on in a pub, 30 quid ticket and all that. Steve H31 says, Alan J, what was the biggest selling song of 2000? I have a feeling it was something like Who Let the Dogs Out. Really? But I don't know, I might be wrong. Someone will Google it and find out and let Some. us know. Um, M- Eminem, Eminem was out with the real Slim Shady and Music by Madonna was out. Michael was wondering if I be- um, believe by Cher was out in two thousand. I think called Steve that H nice says thing. it was Bob the Builder. Oh, you're wow. joking! Wow. Uh, Nigel TC, we saw the year two thousand in with the fireworks in Southampton. There was no wind, so the first lot went up, and the smoke obscured the rest of the display. <laughs> oh no! Well, I didn't start working at the dome till about April or May. In 2000, and I was talking to the people who worked there, and they had to had to, had to be there. You know, be cause, there. Cause the Queen opened it, didn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a little baked bean coloured coat. <laughs> but must have this colour. Um, and they were like, oh, we're there till like one or two in the morning. And no then, night, Shari. Shari's uh, off. No night, Shari. And they had to get, get up and be at work the next day. 
Here she is, is back from the adult dating site and said it was quite good fun. <laughs> uh, Joel Hadelstein says, um, Crazy Frog and Lonely by Akon were um, oh, best-selling songs. I am so lonely. What was Crazy Frog? Axel F, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. And then there was that Barbie. I'm a Barbie girl. Here we are. Michael's saying, this is Alan's brother. We did. We had a street party. Uh, your mum did a spread for the Millennium oh, to feed she? the neighbours. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. Um, D'Angelo was at George Square in Glasgow for the Millennium celebrations. We have a song to play out with. So I guess if Shari's still here, you may as well listen to the song and um, we will be back on the other side of the song to finish our drinks with you all. But we've missed her, so she's in. Here is the Phantom of the Wigan Slingback, none other than... different Scylla there wasn't it? A little different look of Scylla there. She, yeah, she had the sort of colouring of a prawn ring didn't she? She was a bit like you know uh, when Liza's doing a Fosse concert it was a bit like that. Um, and I thought the same as somebody on here had written about that looked like Duncan Preston didn't it? Oh chat chat dates back let me get rid of them yeah I mean the, all the sort of Filippo said it was Duncan Preston grinding to Scylla. Yeah. I was once um, working at the, um, uh, the V&A and they brought in the, some sort of temporary um, warders. Warders. You know, the guys used to sort of patrol. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. And I, was, I got a chat to this one guy and obviously he heard I was inter, inter, interacting. And he used to be um, a male dancer. Oh, really? But he did things like Says Les and the Les Dawson show. He might have been there grinding to see um, And he said it's, it's such a short-lived um, career. He said, because there's not much work, really, for male dancers. Um, unless they had, like, you know, spectacular... Unless they were in the Brian Rogers yeah, collection. or um, Stanley Baxter had a spare bit of money. But, yeah, he's one of the... Um, Les, Les Dawson dancers. Oh, Chris Perinder says, we went out... Oh, this is Millennium, Nibbles... 
Went out and camped in Caton Bay, Millennium Eve. I got very drunk and fell in the sea and in the campfire. Oh, nibbles. nibbles. How old were you being nibbles? It'd have been Butter Boy. It'd have been a wee lad. Um, was one of the dancers Nigel Lithgow? It could have been. Oh, it could be because he was a dancer, wasn't he? Yeah, now Nigel Lithgow. It was a bit like Larry, Larry Grace. Started Pop Stars, which I think, because I was looking for Pop Stars for tonight's show, but Pop Stars started in 2001. Like, end of 2000, 2001. So it was like Christmas TV from 2000. But mainly it was a 2001 programme. And then Pop Stars became Pop Idol, which, of course, then created Will Young and Gareth Gates. Mm. But I think that's like 2000 and... It's a bit later, isn't it? Yeah, one. Uh, Andrew Chapman, in 2000, I was in an amateur production of a small family business. Um, Caroline said... uh, that he looked like Duncan Preston as well, yeah, Carl Nibbertson. And Dale thought he spotted Rudolf Nureyev and D- Jim Davidson dancing away to Scylla there. And We're going to, me uh, and Alan are going to try and learn that routine for the bingo, bingo night, get a troop of dancers. And in. that sort of age of Scylla always reminds me of sort of like primary school teachers. They sort of had that sort of haircut, didn't they? Uh, well, Shari's gone to bed now, but Shari's primary school, I don't know if she had a little Scylla bowl. Uh, Chris Perinder was 22. Oh, but not, not but a wee lad. Um, and what were you drinking, Nibbles? What were you, what, yeah, what was your, your... What got you so tipsy that night? What would we have been drinking in 2000? Cheap plonk. Yeah, it would have been cheap. Uh, like Iceland. Yeah, we, we might have been on wine. cocktails. We most probably were on cocktails. You you used to love a, getting a um, carton of pineapple juice, didn't you? Pineapple and Ooh, coconut like juice tropical. are making... Yeah. Uh, Making fruity cocktails. I liked a bit of Rubicon. Oh, here she is, is listening to us too while she's doing some editing. The hour has flown by. Uh, if you are interested in checking out Here She Is, she has an amazing video show on YouTube, but also has a radio show. And this last weekend, um, he interviewed his heroine, Millicent Martin. Mm. So it's on, uh, I think you can see it on YouTube or listen to it on his website. Um, but yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's had Sam Bailey from X Factor on his bed recently, and he's so. got a new series coming up, hasn't he? Of new, new yeah, new guests in, in his bed. Uh, Chris was drinking vodka. Melanie Fairley was drinking Bacardi Breezers. Oh, I remember Bacardi Breezers. Darren B was drinking Blue Nun. Oh, Blue Nun. Oh, Coral Daft wasn't drinking Jam Shed in two thousand. We got a Blue Nun once in a Christmas hamper. You know, when hampers were done like you pay weekly. I thought you meant an actual blue nun. No. The, oh, and it was putrid. I've never had it, I don't think. I think I'd like a blue nun. So I mean, got some. What did I get once? Because I got it because it was camp and it wasn't nice. I didn't like it. Taboo? Uh, do you know what it was? And you like it. Baby sham. Oh, I love baby sham. Chilled baby sham. I didn't like it. Um, Lily Law said she was on Lambrini. Well, now Lambrini was a... A classic of um, the 2000s. Yeah, we had Lambrini's. Mad Abafan, Mad Abafan, a bit like us. 2000, I was drinking whatever was on a happy hour offer. We used to love getting a, a, four, a, a jug of beer. Do you remember? Four pint, four pint pitcher. Yeah. Cole Taylor mentioned Hooch. I still have Hooch. Here we are. Here she is. If you're in, Nicola Utting has just said she met Sam Bailey at the Hook and... <laughs> The Hook and Duck stall in Skegness. If only you'd known, you could have mentioned. Do you remember? Any um, way to stream Drag Bingo for us across the pond? We don't think so. We don't. We're not tech savvy enough, and we also think it will lose it'll something rubbish, I think. in translation. Um, uh, Chris is about off back to work. All right, then we'll see you soon, my love. Michael is saying uh, Alex Clark Smirnoff Ice. Yeah. You guys all, everyone perks up when we mention what you're drinking. Vodka, Blue Balls, Archers, Midori and Lemonade, Philip Yakimo. Oh, Archers was lovely, yeah. Um, Michael, Baby Sham with Blackcurrant. Oh, that's a new one on me. Martin Garten Spence, Bacardi Breezes, Archers, Aqua and Smirnoff Ice. Um, here we go. Ockbin Blake, he says, back on at Millennium Eve, I had an old phone... And it had an Alistair SIM card. Mm. Oh, uh, Steve H31 says in 2000, Victor Meldrew was killed off. I still haven't watched that episode. Alan won't watch it. I can't. 
Um, Joel Hazeldean, Dad used to love, love Hofmeister beer. We can't seem to get it anywhere. Is um, that the um, Follow the Bear? I think so. Yeah. Taboo and Lemonade, Lemon Hooch, Raspberry Archers, Aqua, they need to bring them back. The Copsills are on champagne. Christopher John's Barrymore has popped in and says, Hi, y'all, I miss you. Oh, thank you for joining us. But you're joining us when we're about to go. Uh, Gary Debbie Coxhill, we were on champagne as we used to get loads off the customers at Christmas. Oh, lucky. I think they're <laughs> hairdressers, not Edward Cezanne's fans. Uh, Tom says brandy and baby sham. Oh, not together. That'd be strong, wouldn't it? Diamond blush. Yeah, Christopher Johns, we've been going for an hour and a half and we're going to say goodnight. Cherry B, Blue Wicket, you love Cherry I B. I love Cherry B. Cherry B and a Coke. Um, cherry Coke. Per Mrs. B, Darren, uh, Mrs. Bram, Bramley, Perno and Pineapple. Oh, wow, that's, I've never thought, never thought of that. Here we are, uh, Two Dogs Lemonade. Oh, do you remember Two Dogs? Two Dogs. It was like a hooch. Oh, was it? Yeah. Toffee Apple Shots, says Paul McFarlane. Archer's Aqua, so sweet you could melt your fill- you could feel your fillings melt. I don't think I've ever had an Archer's Aqua. I've had a Bacardi Breezer. Your Archer's Watermelon, peach. I think. Peach, isn't it? Aqua Archer's. All right, my lovelies. We're going to say goodnight. We have my mum and dad visiting uh, tomorrow, so we've got to um, be nice and bright and bushy tailed for them. And then Friday, we're off to the. Um... Eat Me Cafe space to have a look at the space. To work out where we're going to, to put our stage. Everything's going to be happening. Where we're going to shake our balls. Where right. we're going to do a bit of lip syncing. Where we're going to be getting changed, etc. Um, so yeah, if you've not got your tickets, um, it's sold out. But you could. there is a waiting list, I think. Um, so you could always phone the theatre and ask to be put on the waiting list. Because then if, it's, if they think it's that popular, uh, they'll put it on again. And if you wanted to support us and you can't come and see our bingo you can tip us um so you can use this qr code here uh you just hold your camera phone up to it and it should take you to the website um where you can give us a donation and we uh we say three pounds which is like buying us a coffee or buying us a pint it's not like buying a pint now oh i know i think our friend jason darcy was in london he paid six pounds six something pound a pint Uh, but yeah you can go there and you can leave us a little tip if you've enjoyed tonight if you want to support what we're doing help us buy wigs and makeup we're meeting a makeup artist on monday yeah because we just we just slap it on really yeah so she's going to help uh she's going to teach us how to we thought we it's about time we had a look at how the professionals would do it yeah so she's going to teach us how Uh, to uh, we're not we're not going to be doing the whole drag thing or the um, we're not doing contouring contouring it's just we just want to look a bit. We just want to look look good for people who are paying money to see us. Yeah, up close. <laughs> yeah. All right, darlings. Um, have a good week, everybody, and we'll see you next Wednesday. We'll uh, we'll leave you with those grinding men again. Yeah. Yeah. Have, a, have another look at their crotches. All right, loves. Lots of love. I don't know if we'll be back next week. I'm in Oman. Not 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 Wednesday, are we? Uh, no, I'm here Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you next Wednesday night. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah.
uptight And you sway them to the left And you sway them to the right You slip around the floor Kind of nice and light and Then you move around and move around So don't be uptight Thread your loving Wild in space Then you do a funky thing Some style and grace You swing your Swing it on back Cause that's 